The Kohima War Cemetery is a remembrance to troops from the Allied Forces 2nd British Division who died in the Second World War at Kohima, Nagaland's capital, in April 1944. As per the Commonwealth War Graves Commission, that maintains this cemetery and many others throughout the world, the troops died on the battleground of Garrison Hill near the tennis court region of the Deputy Commissioner's residence. Facts about Kohima War Cemetery This cemetery contains 1,420 Commonwealth burials from World War II, as well as a memorial to 917 Hindu and Sikh troops who were cremated in line with their faith. Field Marshal Sir William Slim, the then commander of the 14th Army in Burma, presented the memorial. The Kohima War Cemetery is situated in the heart of the city of Kohima. The Battle of Imphal and Kohima was named, Britain's Greatest Battle, by the British National Army Museum in the year of 2013. History behind the cemetery In March 1944, the 15th Army of Japan fought the British soldiers stationed in Kohima and Imphal in northeast India with the aim to impede an advance on Burma. From the Indo-Burma border, the Japanese invaded Kohima and Imphal via Mizoram in the first week of April, destroying the British supply bases. They surrounded and besieged the Allied soldiers at Kohima and Imphal. When the Japanese 15th Army arrived in Kohima in April 1944, they took up a strategic position on Garrison Hill and confronted a small group of Commonwealth troops, who held their post until reinforcements arrived. The Commonwealth forces defeated the Japanese in the armed struggle at the tennis ground of the Deputy Commissioner's bungalow, that was destroyed during the war, which also entailed hand-to-hand -hand fighting between the warring factions. Both sides suffered a large number of casualties. For the Allies, this battle was a watershed moment. The cemetery is set in peaceful surroundings with well-manicured grassland in which roses bloom in season. The cemetery is sited at the exact location where the battle was fought, and provides a panoramic view of the city of Kohima. It is marked at its two ends by tall, concrete structures engraved with the cross. Between the two structures, along the sloping ground, a series of terraces of 3 to 5 meters, 9.8 to 16.4 feet, in height have been created. These contain stone markers embedded with bronze plaques carrying the name of each Commonwealth soldier who died on the Kohima battlefield. These markers are made distinctly visible by a white wash. There are two memorial crosses, one at the upper end and the other at the lower end of the cemetery. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching my video patiently. Make sure to subscribe my channel for more informative historical videos. Thank you so much. Love you all my dear supporters. See you all in the next video.